On April 30, 2011, an intimate dinner was organized to kick off the first Osu Stream Project event in Boston. The Osu Stream Project Inc. is a nonprofit organization committed to bringing quality, sustainable education to the Dominican Republic while conserving the environment and revolutionizing the education system with an innovative approach. Hi, I'm Clarice Misa Montero. Here we are at Maribel Rueda's beautiful home. I don't know if you've taken a chance to actually look around, but it's gorgeous. And we're here before dinner. We're going to speak to Kenny Nunez regarding the OSU's Dream Project. Tell us a little bit about the OSU's Dream Project. What does it entail? Well, the OSU's Dream Project is an educational project, and our focus is to help, uh, help improve the education system and the environment uh, in Latin America, starting in the Dominican Republic. How does your model differ, or why is it unique amongst other educational models? Well, one of the, one of the things that uh, differs is that our model is an inclusive education model. Also, what differs is that our education program is from pre-K to 12th grade, and it's, auto, it's almost like a mentoring program because the high school students are able to help out with the younger, with the younger children. We also have a multilingual um, aspect of it. And besides the multilingual aspect, which will be English, Spanish, and sign language, because it, it helps children with special needs, especially those children with autism, um, we also have what it is a inclusive, a, a, not only the inclusive education model, but also a sustainable model. Now, the sustainable model entails that we, Igwe, the town of Igwe, which is where we're going to build our first school, which was the land was donated, graciously donated by. Uh, uh, Karina Aristi, she is the, she is the, um, the mayor of the town. And um, what it entails is that we are very close to a tourist area. And what we're going to do is we're going to partner up with the, with, with the various hotels. And we're going to build a children's museum next to our school. The proceeds from the children's museum, we're going to grab those proceeds, run the museum, and help run the school with that. Uh, to that end, we're building schools out of shipping containers, uh, solar panels, uh, well water, and we're making it a green school. If somebody does want to donate or wants additional information about the project, can you please provide us with that information? Certainly. Uh, they can go to www.ostosdreamproject.org or www.hdp10.com. And uh, I wanted to give thanks not only to Boston Latino TV for being here, I wanted to give thanks to uh, Spot the Bean and uh, to everybody that's here with us, which you'll see all of them on the camera, but especially to Maribel Rueda that she has opened up her home to us and she's such a passionate person with regards to the project. And you know, it, 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 it serves right. I mean, she has a, a child that's autistic, but it goes beyond that because her passion it speaks for itself. It really does. You have a personal story. So your level is a little different than Kenny's. You actually have a 14-year-old son that's dealing with autistic, yes, I do. with autism, yeah. correct? So I want you to explain to us your personal story, what some of your challenges are. Certainly. Well, Stevan, um, I have a 14-year-old beautiful autistic child um, who was diagnosed with autism at two and a half years old. He um, he uh, basically went through the routine testing that any parent with an autistic child will, will go through. And um, I gotta say, it was one of those times in my life that completely changed me. So why are you so passionate about the OSU's Dream Project? Well, the OSU's Dream Project, basically what it does is it, uh, it provides the parent and the child a place to go and actually get those tools that you need to survive with the, within the autism spectrum. Here in the United States, we are privileged compared to Latin American countries like Democratic Republic, for example. What's an, an advice or some helpful hints you would give mothers that don't have resources or don't know where to outreach and find these programs? I think the most important thing is to basically, you have to accept the diagnosis. Uh, once you are given a diagnosis of autism, I think you need to communicate with your educators, uh, with the school educators, and you need to um, basically ask the, question, the right questions. What do I do? Yeah. Where do I go? What do I need to do to make my child's life you know, better? And they are out there. But you made a good point that we are in a country where 
we are given those, uh, those resources. And unfortunately, in our countries, you know, whether Dominican Republic, Colombia, other Latin American countries, we don't have the resources. Um, so it is very important for you to at least, you know, speak out and say, listen, I am a parent of an autistic child. What is it, where do I go? What is it that I need to do to um, help my child, you know, advance? Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your personal story. I think it touched everyone that's viewing Boss Anthony TV right now. Again, thank you so much, Maribel, for inviting us over to this beautiful home, and thanks for having us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maribel Rueda. And I am Kenny Nunez. And thank you for watching Boston Latino TV. Don't forget to come to the Ostro's Dream Project fundraiser on June 23rd, 2011, at the Alger House. For more information, you can contact me at 347-893-2924 or go to our website, www.ostrosdreamproject.org. Thank you for watching Boston Latino TV.